video will explain how you create your interactive notebook. You'll need uh, your 70 page, one subject uh, notebook, a straight edge, a pencil, and if you have a Sharpie, if not, you can just use a, a, a some sort of ink pen or something to put your name on the front, okay? So uh, here's, let's go ahead and put our interactive notebook together, all right? So on the front, put your last name, then first name, okay? Don't write last name, write your last name and your first name and the period and whatever period you're in, write that in, okay? So last name, first name, period on the front, and U.S. history. Okay? So after you do that, let's go ahead and create our table of contents. All right? We're going to use three sheets of paper front and back. Okay, for the table of contents it gives us plenty of, of uh, room to to uh, list our table of contents each item each time we enter something. Okay, all right. So on the first page, go ahead and you know write semester one. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll put the date first. All right. Draw a line all the way down the page. All right. Then page number. You know, pound sign is what they use for abbreviating number. Draw another line down it, down the page for your page number. Okay, and then title of the item, and then down at the end, let's make a column whether or not the item will be for a grade. So just write for grade. Okay. Now, if it's a grade, we'll just put a little check mark. Or oh, actually, we'll write the date of uh, the due date there. All right? So the date, page number, title, and is it for a grade or not? And like I said, we'll just we'll write the due date. If it's blank, it wasn't taken for a grade. All right? So let's go ahead and do that for the back. And then I'll, for, for uh Keep the video not so long. Go ahead and do the other two pages on your own. So let's do it one more time. Okay. So we'll put on the when it's like this, we can use this column for the date, the edge. Okay. And then page number. Remember that pound sign means number. Title of what we're working on, and then even though there's these holes here, look, why don't we go ahead and use that over there for is it for a grade? That gives us plenty of room for writing our titles. Sometimes they're wrong. Okay, so for grade, all right. Of course, we'll write a date in this column if it was actually for a grade. Okay, so go ahead and do the same thing for the front and back on the second sheet of paper and front and back on the third piece of paper. Okay? All right. Once you finish those, then start numbering your page numbers. And I always like the page numbers at the top corner, no matter if it's this direction or this direction. It's always the top corner. 
corner. All right, so page one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. Go ahead and do the whole notebook and, and, uh, and have that done so you don't have to mess with it uh, later. Okay, so this is your interactive notebook. We will uh, be either writing directly on the page, maybe inserting something on the page. Uh, you might want to get you some tape. Some people staple, uh, however you can do it. Uh, we'll, we, sometimes we will be taping something directly on the sheet also. We'll, we'll be creating thinking maps for note taking and uh, I'll teach you about that later. Okay, so this is our, our this is be organized, and uh, you know history can be uh, can be pretty detailed. So this helps us keep everything in one place. And now we're going to be using technology also, so uh, you know that you'll be submitting things electronically also. There'll be times that I'll say, hey, we did a thinking map on page uh, page five, so please go to page five and. Uh, Take a picture of the thinking map that we did and submit that to me. Uh, either upload it or uh, or take a picture of it and simply email it to me. Okay. So anyway, this is going to be our interactive notebook. Please put uh, one together for the first semester. We'll we'll make another one um, when we come back from Christmas break. We'll create another one. So this is how we stay organized in the class with uh, something tangible. All right. Thank you for watching.